today on the ripple effect we are answering the question can you be catholic and a feminist or are they like an oxymoron like jumbo shrimp or okay i can't think of anything else uh Feminism is a word with a lot of baggage historically in the United States and around the world. Some uh, feminists obviously believe things that are contrary to our Catholic faith. For example, some feminist, feminists believe to be a true feminist, you must support abortion. Other feminists are mistakenly recognized as men haters or against men as a general or waging some kind of war on men. So if these two things are true, obviously this type of feminism is not compatible with our Catholic faith. So should we throw out feminism altogether? Or is there something actually deeper to this idea of feminism that's not only compatible, but at the root of our Catholic faith? Merriam-Webster identifies the definition of feminism as the theory of political, economic, and social equality of the sexes. What's at the center of feminism but this word equality? The idea that men and women should be equal, yes, in politics, in social life, and economics, etc., etc. But the catechism actually says something really interesting. Let's check it out. Men and women have been created, which is to say willed by God, on one hand perfectly equal, and on the other respectively as men and women. So the catechism addresses this idea that's at the root of heart the root and the heart of feminism, that is that men and women are created equal, yet have their own differences, unique qualities that bring life and joy to the world in different ways. For example, this lady behind me, Our Lady Mary, the Mother of God, is revered in the Catholic Church. She's given power to intercede for us by God, and she's also recognized as the intercessor, as the queen of both heaven and earth throughout the Catholic Church, throughout the world. This is a uh, example of how salvation came not only through Christ, but through the yes of a woman. And it's something that we recognize, not something that we ignore, not something that we, um, and it's something that's really countercultural, that Mary is uh, an icon of the church's belief in the equality of men and women in our ability to be holy. Other examples of this are the saints. Uh, in the litany of saints that you hear um, during the Eucharistic prayer at Mass, it says, Agatha, Lucy, Perpetua, these are saints, female saints, even from the very beginning of the church, that have had a huge impact on the way that we see uh, femininity in the world. Another truth that the Catholic Church has always witnessed to is that both men and women are equally able to show the glory of God, that we're able to become holy, that we're able to do the will of God. And that's a huge idea in our church because holiness is our ultimate goal. And we believe that men and women are equally able to obtain this. Great examples of this are some of the great women of the church. St. Teresa of Avila, St. Therese of Lisieux. These are super different women, but both recognized for their feminine qualities and their influence throughout the global church. Uh, despite their gender, they were able to become powerful in the economic world of holiness. So the question, can you be Catholic and a feminist? Yes, you can. You can be both a Catholic and a feminist by supporting the equality of men and women. So those are, that's it. That's all I got for you guys this week. <laughs>